Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of dynamic forms series. So in this one, I'm going to show you how you can hide and hide fields based on a particular condition in your dynamic forms. And we'll also see some other uh, field filters that you can apply in dynamic forms. All right. So let's just go ahead and get started. So I will move to my Salesforce developer org. So here, this is my account record page, which I have already upgraded to dynamic form. And um, so here are the fields that I have. So the first thing that I wanted to show you is how you can basically hide or unhide field based on the filter. So for example, this one. So I don't have any section filters. I have removed any section filters that I had applied here. So now I have two fields. If you see here, active and annual revenue. Okay. So let's say I only want to show annual revenue field. If the active checkbox is uh, actually it is a pick list uh, having values. Yes and no. So I want to display annual revenue only if the active pick list is set to yes. If it is set to no, then I want to hide this field okay so you just need to click on the field click on the filter and here sorry not on this one this one right annual revenue because this is where we want to actually apply the filter right this is what we want to hide or unhide based on another fields condition okay so that is why i'm clicking on annual revenue uh filter and here let's just check for this particular field active and if this equals to yes then only i want to show this field so i'm applying a filter on annual revenue and a filter for active uh, field if this is set to yes then only i want to display this field otherwise this should not be displayed to the user okay clicking on done and clicking on save so this is saved now i'll just go back and i will uh, refresh All right here. So now you can see that active is set as set to yes and we can see annual revenue field. But if let's say if I make it as no, then this should get disappeared. Okay. So no. And you can see that the field is disappeared now. Right. And if I switch back to yes, it shows up again. And the same uh, rule will be applicable even if you open this account in the edit mode. Okay. So edit. And here, if I set it as no, the field is disappeared. The, the field has disappeared, right? So this is one of the um, one one of the examples of the hide unhide field based on a condition that you can actually apply in your dynamic forms. All right. Now let's just go ahead and check some other examples. So I'm just going to cancel this. And uh, you know the the next uh, use case that we can check is let's say I want to only show this field if there's a value inside this let's say if there is no value inside annual revenue field then i don't want to uh, display it okay then how would i do it let's just go ahead and check this so let me first remove the filter that i have or i can just update this filter so annual revenue this is the annual revenue field and i'm applying a filter based on this value itself so if this equals to not equals to actually or yeah this equals to null and let me okay uh hold on equals to i think this will be taken as a value but a number All right. All right. Okay. So I can do something else I can. So, uh, it is not allowing me to put this filter, but let's say if I want to, um, display annual revenue, if account number is not null. Okay. So let's just check for account number, account number here. Okay. So if the self filter, it, it did not allow on the self filter, but see if I am like, you know, choosing any other value, it is not making the value as required. Okay. So this, if account number equals to null, then it is allowing me to put this filter. So if account number equals to null, then only I want to display this and, or I can just put it as not equals. If account number is not equals to blank, then I want to display this field. Okay. And click on done, click on save. Let's just go and refresh. So you can see that we are not able to see the annual revenue because the account number is null. If I put a value in the account number, the we will be able to see the annual revenue over here. Okay. So let me just put some account number here and 
let me say yeah here it is okay the moment i clicked somewhere it just started showing me the annual revenue okay so this is how you can put a null check all right now let's just check some other examples for example let's say if i add a checkbox i have a field which is a checkbox customer portal so let's say i am adding this field here customer and this is a checkbox okay now i want to again apply another filter over here and let me just cross it out and i will just rearrange this field so i want to display annual revenue if this checkbox is checked otherwise i don't want to so clicked here and customer portal account so sorry here uh, add filter customer portal account if customer sorry let me try to save this and then we'll check for the filter all right so here i will search for that field It's a standard field, so I'm not sure why is it not showing up. Let me just check for some other checkbox. So I'm not taking any of the partner fields because I'm doubting if it will uh, show up over there. For example, this one, right, is partner. So if I search for this one, is partner, I am doubting if it's going to show up. Let's Let me just keep it here and... partner account i think this is the label for is partner partner account is the label and it's a checkbox let me try and see if i will be able to apply a filter over here okay so no right so see these are uh, you can you can call it as limitations or whatever because these are standard fields on account but these are not available for any of the filters right so we can just leave it and let's just check with another. So I'm just going to, I can create few checkboxes. So let me just quickly create a checkbox. So checkbox one. Next. And save and new and I'll create one more. Checkbox. All right, next and save. Okay, and here I would have to refresh the page. Let me save this and refresh the page. So let me first include those two fields, checkbox one and checkbox two. Okay. So checkbox one, I'll keep it here and then checkbox two. Okay. And I'm going to apply a filter on checkbox two that this field should only be visible if this one is true. If checkbox one is true, then we should be able to see the checkbox two field. Okay. So on checkbox two, let's just find out checkbox one. So if checkbox one equals to true, then only I want to display checkbox too. Okay. Done. Save. This is save now. Let's just go and refresh. <clears throat> All right. So if I so by default it is set to false, right? But if I check this checkbox, then I should be able to che see checkbox too. Okay. See, I'm able to see this field. If I uncheck this, then this will be gone. And the same thing again, it will be applicable on the edit mode as well. So here, if I click on check, I'm able to see this. And if I uncheck this, this. 
So this was how you can apply uh, field filters based on uh, some particular condition that you would have. And I'll see you in the next video. Till then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.